Our in-depth coverage of these historic floods continues now. Today, the National Guard surveyed the damage from high above, and they brought cameras with them. Tonight, for the first time, an aerial view of the damage done by these historic floods. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has details live in the Pinpoint Weather Yard. Well, all the images from this historic flooding are unbelievable, but to get a full scope of the widespread damage, we took to the sky with a National Guard helicopter. High in the sky above Warwick, this aerial video shows part of Route 95 underwater. The Patuxent River is overflowing onto a portion of the busy stretch, causing travel headaches statewide. A moat surrounds the Warwick Mall parking lot, where floodwaters block store entrances and submerge parked cars. This bird's eye view shows the overflowing banks of the Patuxent push against these backyards, with fast-moving currents creating whitewater rapids. Other homes weren't as lucky, with roofs barely peaking above floodwaters and ponds forming in neighborhoods. These Warwick industrial parks are underwater for a third time, a constant problem area of the heavy rains. These horses stand in a flooded pasture, and even some rafters make their way through impassable roads. Water surrounds the Warwick wastewater treatment plant, where city officials say cleanup could take months. And this crumbled roadway shows the sheer force of the flooding and the damage caused by rising waters across the state. And that National Guard helicopter is also being used to give aerial tours to city and state leaders so they can assess the growing damage. Live in the Weather Yard, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.